Hello, I'm Janie Marvin. And I'm Linda Dimmick. Lynn and I have been working together since 1991. And in 1993, we started our own company. And around that same time, we began to learn information about how the brain and how the body and how the central nervous system works. And Linda and I have, over the last several decades, learned more about this information and shared this information with others. And I'm very grateful we've been able to do this. We also are very appreciative of all of the information that we have studied and learned to apply because it means that we gain greater understandings of ourselves and recognize that truly we can change. Our beliefs, our behaviors, our thoughts are merely programs that can be changed. One of the awesome things about being able to work with other people for Linda and I has been being able to watch so many people just from having the information about how their brains are working and knowing how to consciously be able to control their own subconscious and change things that they choose to change. And watching so many people coming in, being so afraid of their own thoughts or their own feelings, and then learning this information and watching people grow, watching some of our people that we've worked with actually become lawyers, others opening their own businesses. It's just been incredibly humbling to be able to watch these things. One of the interesting things for me is that once an individual learns this information, it's simple. We really have been utilizing the laws of the subconscious to program ourselves since we were young children. However, we didn't understand. Now, understanding the information and learning the tools and techniques, we, you, I, can take charge of our own lives and cause to happen the very things we choose. As human beings, we all have times and events from our past that for whatever reason did not work out the way that we had planned them to work out when we started them. Things like going to school and that not finishing school. Things like getting married and having it end up in divorce. Numerous things that as human beings we began with the good intention of finishing these things. And then for whatever reason or reasons, these things ended up failing. Many of these things from our past that we began and we did not complete successfully, we have already paid the consequences for these things. Oftentimes, the reasons that we don't complete or do successfully the things that we began can be things like addiction, emotional negative states, mental negative states, sometimes physical negative states end up being reasons that we don't or didn't successfully complete the things that we began. These things that we did not do successfully end up being things that we feel guilty about, things that we regret, sometimes even to the point of resentment, 
things from our past that when we first started them, we were excited about or determined to complete. And yet, for various reasons, we did not complete these things. We were not successful. Usually, we pay the consequences for these wrongdoings, these mistakes, the sometimes even crimes that we can get into depending upon our state of being when we failed at things that we began. And yet, somehow, somewhere inside of us, we have a tendency to hold on to these things and not forgive ourselves, not let go inside of ourselves for the things that we did not accomplish. I call these things lost memories, memories from our past that when we began were going to work out good. I've heard many stories like mothers or fathers who began to have a family and they loved their family and they loved each other and yet they got involved in drugs or alcohol or other kinds of problems and instead of being there for their children being together as a family someone ends up incarcerated Sometimes somebody just ends up staying in bed all day. Sometimes someone can even end up in heaven. All of us have a lot of lost memories. Memories from our past that we thought were going to be one way and ended up by our own choices going a completely different direction. So often these memories keep eating at us. Sometimes others may even remind us of these lost memories because oftentimes others are involved in our lives and are affected by our poor choices. This technique is a guided imagery where you will go into your own private theater, where you will put together and watch your lost memories from your past, whatever those lost memories might be. You'll put together a movie of these memories and watch them as though they worked out the way you might have imagined they would when you began them. Times from your past, whatever those times and events may be, whether it was that you went to school but didn't complete because of drugs or alcohol or some other problem, whether it was beginning a family that somehow you lost the family, you lost a member of the family, or maybe just time, months, years of interacting with the family. Oftentimes others having to step in to help raise the family that you helped create. All the years and events from your past that did not happen the way you might have imagined they would have happened when you began them. These may be hard things to think about. If these are hard, to think about. If thinking about these things 
hurt you. It's even more important that you do this guided imagery because these things do tear at us, make us feel guilty, help us create walls to keep others away, to not let ourselves out, especially these times and events that we have already paid the consequences for. We have changed, and we do change. We can change. Yet some of these lost memories are very hard to let go of. And what we resist persists. If you are willing and ready to do this guided imagery, you're the one who will put the movie together, the memories that are lost from your life here on earth. They're lost. You'll never have them. It didn't work out the way you imagined it would when you began it. And you feel bad. You may feel guilty. You might even feel resentful. The good memories that you could have had in your life and with your family that you didn't have because of your choices, whether that's addiction or emotional states or mental states that kept you from your dreams, from your past, your good memories you might have had. If you're ready now to do this, then imagine, just imagine that you are in your own private theater where you and only you and anyone you choose to invite can come. And you have your own special seat in this theater with a screen in front of you and you have the control panel with you where you sit. And having put these lost memories, whether they be being with your children, watching them grow, but you didn't, you weren't there. Whether they be being with your spouse, for as long as you can imagine, might have dreamed being with them. But you weren't because of your addiction, maybe your mental state, emotional states, physical states, all the memories that might have been there, the lost memories of the good, the joy, the other memories that you didn't have because of your state of being. Imagine putting this movie in your control panel. And the movie begins on the screen. And there's sound that you can clearly hear. And you clearly see the event 
that never happened. The times with the people as though you were there doing the things that you might imagine you could have been doing. Hearing the sounds that you might imagine you could have been hearing. All of the times and all of the events to their completion that you lost your lost memories being having doing completing successfully, joyfully in all of the details as many of the lost memories from your past as you might imagine watching and experiencing experiencing on the screen and hearing in your theater the way that things and events could have been, might have been, maybe even should have been, the way that you might have imagined them at the time in your past that you began these events, these experiences. And noticing the reaction of others in your events. and the sounds from others in your lost memories, the ways it could have been, the ways that you imagined it might have been when you began these things. Some of us may have only a few of these memories. Others of us may have many of these lost memories, things from our past that did not work out, memories that somehow still are inside of us, and watching in your own personal, private, secure theater these lost memories. As though they really happened on the screen in your theater to their fullest extent that you might imagine them as though they really happened this way. And notice the feeling inside as you watch these Notice the sounds and the colors, the sensations 
the responses, your responses, in these lost memories, others' responses in this movie of these lost memories, the ways it might have happened, the ways it could have happened. All the events that you can watch working out the way you might have imagined them working out when you began them. Being there, completing, interacting, experiencing, in all the ways that you might imagine. In detail, watching and listening and when this movie is over. Imagine putting this movie away in a very sacred, secure place where you and only you have access to this movie. Place this movie in a container that you design. You can label this container in any way you choose to label it. And put this movie of your lost memories in a safe and secure place, knowing that these are memories that are lost. You have more than likely paid all of the consequences, done all of the things, felt all of the guilt, carried all of the bad thoughts about yourself and maybe others regarding these lost memories. Putting this movie away, knowing that you've changed, knowing people can change, knowing that you can forgive even you, that others in your movie of your lost memories have probably already forgiven you. Letting go and letting God accepting your life as it has been knowing that you have other strengths, other knowledge because of the life you have lived. And you can share and give. You can be there now. You can begin things and successfully complete them if you choose to now. You are your judge. Judge yourself wisely and justly. 
You are welcome to leave your theater whenever you choose to leave your theater. Making sure that as you leave it, it's secure. So you and only you or others if you choose to enter.